electromagnetic induction. When a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field such that the direction of current is perpendicular to the magnetic field, it experiences a force. But if a conductor is moving inside a magnetic field, a magnetic field is changing around a fixed conductor, electric current is generated. This was first studied by Michael Faraday. In the activity, if you had moved south pole of the magnet towards end B of the coil, the deflection would be opposite to the previous case. If both coil and magnet are stationary, there is no deflection in the galvanometer. Thus, the motion of a magnet with respect to the coil, or if coil is moved with respect to the magnet, potential difference is induced, which sets up an induced electric current in the circuit. In the activity, it is seen that if the current in the coil reaches either steady value or zero, the galvanometer connected to coil 2 shows no deflection. Thus, potential difference is induced in the coil 2 whenever the electric current through coil 1 is changing. Coil 1 is called as primary coil and coil 2 is called as secondary coil. As the current in the first coil changes, the magnetic field associated with it also changes. The process by which a changing magnetic field in a conductor induces a current in another conductor is called electromagnetic induction.